Well, in general, I think Australia has been actually uh, one of the earliest adopters of iOS and has been a very good story here. Particularly to the question of how can small companies benefit from that. Um, you've got the opportunity if you have, let's say, 50% of the population using smartphones, you've got a guaranteed audience for reaching them via mobile, either an app or making sure your website is friendly to, to a mobile user. But we saw similar patterns in China a few years ago. Uh, a few years ago, for example, Apple, just using them as a, as a proxy, um, was nowhere in China, and they were thought of, uh, it was thought of as an, you know, mission impossible. In fact, many brands tried to get in and failed in, in China. So, so uh, uh, think globally, act locally. Be very focused when you enter a country specifically to target, you know, how do we penetrate here, rather than saying, okay, the emerging markets are huge, therefore we're going to win. Some people, especially like for example in the publishing world, are, are having to make this decision because their objective is to actually you know, get out as far as, as possible. So if you're a newspaper publisher, do you make an app for both platforms? If you're smaller, you might use the app platforms mostly for advertising within the apps. You know, so you might buy ad spaces and so on. Um, if you're a larger corporation and you're looking at, uh, at these platforms, you might look them at them as sort of a ways of enhancing productivity of your customer, I mean of your employees, and so you need to be flexible and, and that's where perhaps the sub, you know, being aware of the global data is helpful in making these investment decisions. I'm very interested in what's going to happen to TV. I think TV is, is, is the last frontier. Um, it's not so much mobile, although it's going to be mobilized in a way. It's about the fact that the same technologies are coming to TV, so apps, for example. I think once we get apps onto a TV, we'll see a whole new supernova of innovation happening, and I'm really excited about that. I'm going to keep my eye open on that, on developments there probably this fall, maybe, maybe early next year.